This is James Helder for iFilm London. I'm joined by director Lee Sowers. How's it going, Lee? I'm all right, thanks. Yeah, good. Cheers. So your film turnout's finally made. It's all done. What's your take on it, mate? I'm, at, I'm happy with it, you know, pretty much. Looks, looks beautiful. I'm really pleased with the performances and I'm glad that people seem to get it. You know, the, the humour and, and the heart of the film, really. So, yeah, I was happy with the screening. Obviously, like so far. Um, how did the idea for the film turn out come around? Obviously, George and Fran as well. Um, tell yeah, us a little bit about that. Us. That's, that's our collaboration. Um, it was going to be a 20 minute short at, at one time when we first spoke. Yeah, let's make a little short and, you know, come up with a little script, you know, 20, 25 pages long. And then we're just like, oh, you know what? Let's expand it. And before, before we knew it, a few years had passed and it had been through so many variations. Um, yeah, so it started out as a 20 minute script. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. So, what was it like from your point of view as a director to work with people like Peter Fernando, Ferdinando? Um, obviously, obviously, like. Peter is a great actor. We had so many great actors that, you know, it's hard for me to just reel them all off now in case I forget someone. But obviously, you know, George and Fran, I know what they're about, but people like Peter. Neil Maskell, obviously, you know, Ophelia was great. Uh, you know, everyone, all, all the main crowd of boys, Kyle, you know, Sonny, Neil, Nick Nevin. There was, you know, everyone just really played their characters well. I was happy, like, to be honest, it made my job easy because I had a lot of trust in them as actors and they, they knew what they was doing. So just let them get on with it. Is that your kind of thing then, kind of let, giving people the freedom to develop their own exactly. characters? Totally. It's a collaboration as far as I'm concerned. So, you know, same with like the, the lighting. They, they know what we're doing. We speak about how we want it to look and stuff, but then you just, just let people do what they're good at, you know. So, yeah, that is my thing. Obviously, the script got heavily workshopped, like with me, George and Fran. That's how it got developed in the first place. They'd sort of act out scenes in my living room. I'll film it, record the audio, whatever transcribe it and then construct the scenes from the impros and then it go through a lot of polishes rewrites rewrites just so it it's got a nice natural feel but don't just go around the houses like very organic you know. way to work in itself isn't it yeah. yeah so that's the way we worked and we got a little bit of rehearsal time with the actors before we filmed um and then and just encourage them if there's any odd words that don't feel right or little things bring it up and if it seems better let's go with it Odd little things got added on the day, but pretty much it was scripted. So what's next for Lee Sales? What's in the future, Lee? Um, but me and George are sort of just finishing up on a draft of our, our next script. So um, literally, literally as soon as the BAFTA screening was done, it's like my job sort of done on the film, so then we could just get back writing. It's a bit hard to try and put, put headspace in too many different films at once, so... Yeah, we're getting back on that one and then we're going away in a few weeks to spend a week just writing to get on with the one after that, hopefully. Wow, so things seem to be moving in the right direction for you, Lee. Yeah, I, we enjoy writing, do you know what I mean? That's, that's a fun part, you don't have to rely on anyone else, there's no dramas, it's just, you know, me and George on this next one and obviously the other one with Franny and he'll get involved at some point, so yeah, that's the fun bit. So I really enjoyed watching your film at the BAFTAs. I was there with the iFilm gang. Um, it was really, really a great story. I don't want to give away too much of the plot and what it entails and stuff, but I thought the actors come across really great. I thought I liked the way it was shot. Um, I like I liked the, the colours you used, the contrast and stuff. It was really cool. What's your take on it, Lee? Yeah, we weren't. I didn't want to just be a typical grey, depressing British film. I love a lot of those films, but you know, films like Fish Tank, Ned Star, you know, great films. Nil by Math is obviously the one, um, but just wanted to go a different way, a bit more stylized, very colourful and vibrant, and even the soundtrack. I didn't want to just come up with just a typical urban soundtrack. That's why I wanted some nice songs, up and coming sort of. Yeah, I was just going to come on to that. Um, I film. We love the music of obviously the UK and London scene. I thought you, the film really captured that well. A lot of the UK garage tracks coming in, and obviously the, the title track turned out really, really great song. Yeah, obviously, Franny put that, that one together, him, him and his producer. So we're lucky we had a lot of friends who could contribute on the sort of hip hop y, dubstep -y type urban stuff. But, I was, you know, I was keen to get some of the more songs. So we've got artists from, you know, 
um, Baltimore, we've got someone, you know, from San Francisco and Denmark. And so, you know, yeah, it was important to have some nice songs in it as well. So it's not just all grime, grime, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I really appreciate that. Got to have some songs in there that I like as well. <laughs> or can feel, yeah, <laughs> not just all like, yeah, not just all urban. Yeah. Lee, I want to thank you again for taking the time to talk to us and hopefully we'll catch up with you again soon. Uh, um, hopefully turn out's doing great numbers. Well, hopefully, yeah. Fingers yeah. crossed. Lee, thanks again for your time, sir. Thank you. No nice one, James. Cheers. Cheers, Coog. All right. Hi, I'm Lee Sales and you've been watching I Film London. Who cares? It's time, I, who cares? It's time, I, who cares? It's time, I, 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 I